Right guys, right across today, Las Colinas Golf and Country Club, Callaway Epic Sub-Zero against Ping LS Tech, GC Quad ready to fire. So we see what numbers we get? Let's get stuck in. So let's start with Epic Sub-Zero, this is the club I game. Uh, we've got GC Quad on obviously, we're gonna get some numbers which we'll look at at the end. Full reviews on both of these clubs on my channel, maybe I'll put the description in, uh, the link in the description down below. But obviously jailbreak, big technology idea with Epic Sub-Zero, so two bars in here. Join the bottom part to the top part. Um, graphite head, graphite on the bottom, trying to make it as light as possible all over with a titanium face, changeable neck as well, which has more changeability than the Ping LS Tech, which we'll come to in a second. Right, there's five with Epic. I like the way it looks. You get the two lines on the top here, which they're talking for aerodynamics. I don't see that personally. Frames up the ball quite well. Let's see how LS Tech does, and then we'll show you the numbers. So I've got this set down in a nine. You can move the loft around on this one, but much smaller amounts of the ping. Turbulators on top, Dragonfly. We get Vortex at the back as well. Seriously talking about aerodynamics with this club. Stealth black looks all over as well. It's a good looking driver. Right, there's five of each. Ping is louder, like noticeably louder, and presents a little bigger down by the ball because it's kind of squished down a little bit more. So kind of looks on both, there's a variation. Definitely sound, which then in feel, this one feels harder off the face. Let's check these numbers out. Giving my back a rest in the buggy here. Let's look at the numbers. Epic Sub Zero. So it's averaging spin at 2000, dropping down to as low as 1.7, not going above 2.5, which is what I like about that club. Kind of stabilizes. Average carries 271. Furthest one out there, 280. Now I'm using range balls because I can't use my ball, so there will be a, a fraction increase in those. But I've been doing on course testing here as well. And to be honest, in the warm weather, me feeling warmer as well. I'm seeing these kind of numbers out on the course as well. Ping LS Tech averaging 265 compared to Epic, which is 271. Not much in that. 24 spin, so it's averaging around 24. You can see that the LS Tech doesn't get below 24 thousand which I'd expect with the kind of head design that it is um, a miss hit almost at the start there's been at 3,000 but my longest hit 276 with LS Tech I mean it's always been a great driver for me 280 with the with the sub-zero hardly anything in it isn't it in the longest hits it's four yards on carry if you walk up a fairway and look where those balls actually end up it's a minimal difference two very well made drivers for me I just prefer those extra few yards out of epic i like that stabilizing that spin on the slight lower side not that ls tech was high in any way i do quite slightly prefer the sound of epic as well ping is slightly louder which is not a problem i think some people will enjoy that but just for me at the minute i quite like that kind of carbon sound a bit off the face post comments down below as always which one would you go for and why not much in it for those two they are both good clubs